this is a great day, Your Excellency, both for Kenya and Africa, because we have just concluded a very, very important platform for thought leadership in the digital space. We had representation from a whopping 49 countries, and that representation was constituted the ministers, the industry, and our partners. And through these discussions, we have managed to scan the operational environment to discern the challenges we are faced in the digital space and what we need to do to overcome those challenges. We have taken into context the milestones we have realized and what we need to do to sustain them moving forward. We have determined the gaps and how we, what we need to do to close those gaps. And moving forward, we have clearly articulated what our critical tech success factors should be, which have informed the thematic areas or the key result areas for Africa as a continent in the technological space. And we have also come up with very, very clear programs and activities that we need to implement. Your Excellency, allow me to appreciate the support and cooperation that we have so far gotten from our legislature. As you have heard from the COMINEC, most of the ICT interventions that we want to introduce in Africa require the active support of our respective parliament. I want to thank most sincerely our ICT committee of the Senate, which is ably represented here by the chair, Senator Alan Chesang, and the vice chair, Senator Miraj. And in equal measure, the ICT Committee of our National Assembly, led by Honorable K.J. Kiare. They have been part and parcel of us in everything that we are doing, and without their support and cooperation, we would not have gotten this far. Subsequently, Your Excellency, through you, let me express our gratitude to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya for two things. One, putting ICT at the auto center of the overall development agenda of this country. Our digital superhighway is a standalone thematic area in our Kenya Kwanzaa plan, and it's today not just an enabler to all the other facets of the plan that we are rolling out, but also a critical success factor for this country moving forward. And two, may I again through you Sincerely thank the President and yourself for always being available for constant guidance and tutelage, depending on unfolding events from time to time. You have always made sure that we are on track as far as the digital transformation agenda is concerned, and you have always been available for consultations depending on emerging issues in our operational environment.